There she is. Look at that. That's something else about the Canon. You can get a lot closer than, than this damn thing. <laughs> There's the camera. Let's go in a macro and show you what all this... You see that dirt in the lens? I guess it's in the viewfinder. See what the whole thing is here. There we are. There she is. There's... So you can see. This thing this looks so small compared to what I'm used to. Alright. Here's uh... I'll touch the lens ray. That always helps it. This is, this is something that you don't see on cameras anymore. A manual zooming lever. Ten times, auto tracking focus, like I said. Here's where all the controls are on the side of the camera. Okay. This was your automatic or manual focus. This is to uh, fade to black. In other words, put it down, and this is actually up. And this puts it down. Here's your white balance, auto reset. Here's all your focusing. Push for one shot auto focus. A is auto, ATF is auto tracking focus, M is manual, you just keep pushing the button. This is something I think is worthless. This is 2 foot or 3.6 foot. If you want to have auto focus work from 3.6 foot or farther, you push it here. If you want to go in a 2 foot or more, push it here. I always keep it here. Here's your shutter speed up to 10, 1 ten thousandth of a second. Camera mode, automatic or manual. If you want everything automatic, you put it over here, which of course I never do. And here are all your digital functions right here. This was the gain up, just keep pushing it to get the different uh, shutter speeds. Art freeze, regular freeze. Oh, I didn't show you overlap, I forgot. I forgot all about that. I'll show you that later. Close up was a 21 zoom or just instant close up. And this is a digital clear, it clears all your digital functions. Okay, now here is one of the two doors. I can't believe I, I forgot the overlap. This door opens up from the bottom and it's spring loaded. Okay, with, uh, this is what I was telling you about with the uh, audio and video inputs and outputs, okay? By the way, that's your record search or record review, same thing depending on how you use it. Okay, there's your, uh, forgot what A means. What color is that? Oh, that's your, uh, the top over here, that's audio out in a mono input or output. There's your video out, of course, in uh, yellow. And here's your dual channel audio, left and right, in or out. This is an edit switch, on or off, which VCRs have to bypass that final stage, edit your circuitry for whatever, as for dubbing. This is your S-Video, in or out, and this is a remote for, uh, I'm not even sure what this is used for. This is for like uh, pre-rolling or something, if you have a certain equipment to go with it, which of course I don't. Am I getting a level? Yeah, okay. So, now, like I say, these are all inputs or outputs, depending upon where a certain switch is positioned which is on this side of the camera, the other side, which opens up from here, and here is your line switch. Almost had it. Right there. Line in or out. Push that to, for line in or out. Here's a high 8 on or off, so you can take a high 8 tape and record in standard 8 if you want. Here's a self timer. Also a lapse timer. You can tape like every 30 seconds. You can set it to uh, turn on like 24 hours in advance, just like a VCR really great. Here's your title and your date. This is for your uh, two-page titler. This is for the title, shift, plus or minus. This is the, just the uh, lettering and stuff. And this is the little battery for your uh, time and date. It goes behind here, a little lithium, like a watch type battery. Okay, let's back out a little bit. And this side of the camera really is nothing. It's just uh, shoulder, you know, your hand grip over here. This is what I like. This is a manual microphone control for your volume, record level. It's ganged left and right channel. I can't even get the hell I'm doing here. Right over there. Left and right. One through ten. And over here is something else that's unusual. Okay, there's the mic. See how close it is to the lens? Picks up everything. That's the microphone control. Up here, rocker buttons for the zoom. Headphone jack with another volume control for your headphone level which no other camcorder has, except this one. And I know you're going to ask, what are these things down here? Well, this is for an external mic, and by the way, this controls the external mic input, the volume control, volume level, which is nice. DC out for uh, external power of the external mic. And this is an ATT switch for attenuating, 20, minus 20 dB or normal, so you can turn it down if you're in a real noisy place. And the battery goes underneath there, 
where you say I have a little wire coming out over here. That's like the AC type battery like you have for your camera as well. So that's this side of the camera. Now on the top, let's get out a macro. Boy, this is cumbersome to do. <laughs> on the top of the camera are your main controls. Okay, get back in a macro with, I love this big LCD screen. So let's see what, what we can get here. Here's your power on or off. And this is, this is actually dual controls in some cases. This is a start and stop for recording. And I like the Sony cameras which have a VCR or a camera switch. This does not, this is fully integrated. You just push this to start recording, whether you're using it as a VCR or as a camera. Here's your pause, stop, forward or search forward, play, reverse or search reverse, counter reset. Here's your microphone level, which can be either automatic or manual, depending on what you want. Frame advance and playback, tape return to zero. Let's turn this thing on. It's still plugged in. And as you can see, we go right to record play. Now, now let's say I go into uh, record. It goes into record and play. See that? As I talk, it's got left and right level meters. No other camera has this either except the Canon L1 and the Canon A1 Mark II, okay? Now, if I was to push the pause button, hit the mic level, you see what just happened here? A little thing that says MAN came on, and that's manual. Let's push the pause. Let's go up to here now. I know this is out of focus. And push the microphone level down, and turn it way the hell up, and now we are pegging. Remember the old radio term pegging? Yes, because the level's too high. <laughs> and this has, of course, a real-time counter, which is not a real-time counter. This does record hours, minutes, and seconds, but guess what? It even does this on blank tape. <laughs> so it does not really control or read control track pulses. It just re reads tape. That's something Rod Woodcock told me about a long time ago. And this has the usual things. You get a double arrow backwards. You get a single arrow forward and play. And if you scan, this thing blinks. This thing up here says that you are in fact in high 8 because I do have a high 8 tape in here. You see, I, I put the thing in stop and the microphone level stopped, which again is, like I say, common to most camcorders. There's your accessory shoe. Here's the old, I wonder if I can get anything in the viewfinder. Boy, is this freaky. Look at this. I'm actually shooting a viewfinder in a viewfinder. <laughs> oh well. Now this thing turns all the way around, by the way. Look at that. It can go all the way to the front of the camera. And like I said, here is your switch for on or off for the tele light and the remote control sensor. So this thing can flip up locks in like five or six different positions. So I tell you, Art Volo saw this camera and played with it and said, why don't I have one like this? So he was impressed and that made me feel really good. And he was impressed by this sucker. Uh, here is the eject switch for the cassette. And of course it gets you a little arrow up here saying it's going to eject. It takes an hour to eject the tape. Okay, and here's a little Hi8 tape. Hi8 P120, 120 minutes. I have 150 minute tapes now. I love this format, Carrie. It goes right in the record and pause, by the way. As soon as you put a tape in, that's why you always got hit to hit the stop button or the power button or something. Go in and rewind. And of course, this thing, this thing goes back to zero every time you pop out a tape. Okay, so that's... uh. I think a pretty good tour of the camera. There's not really much more I can really show. It's uh, you can see how, how small the thing is on the tripod compared to a full full size VHS. Uh, that's really it.